hi guys you are welcome back to the channel if you are new here you are welcome my name is Akai please thank you for subscribing to the channel today we are coming to learn how to sew a shirt dress so if that's what you want to learn then let's get right into the video we are measuring the dress length I did that the shoulder to waist then you get the length of the dress the shoulder to waist is 17 and all the time when you are patting and cutting a fabric that there is a pattern make sure you get the patterns right this one there is a leaf so you can see the leaf is facing up that's how you have to cut the fabric so that everything will come out nicely so here will be down so i'll cut it then here will be down then the leaf will be uh, facing up yeah so now i'll cut the length of the dress before i'll cut the half length that means shoulder to waist so i've cut the goddess the down part that's what i've cut so now i'm coming to cut the top part the shoulder to waist or the half length So this is the, I fold it into four already. So the front and the back. So now we'll cut the neckline, the hand hole. Then we mark our that. So the neck, because it's a color. You mark the width should be three and a half or four inches uh, three and a half if the person is big you can do it four but if the person normal one is three inches so the width is three and a half and the length is one inch because it's a color if it's normal neck you have to come down by two but you go uh, you cut it one inch that's what i've shaped there it's one inch then i'll slant the shoulder the shoulder i've done it uh, so i know if it's one or one and a half but mine is one and a half inch then i'll draw the ham hole so that's what i'm marking the ham hole then i'll shape the side i've told you already as for ghana people or ghanaians they like big allowance so as for me when i'm cutting i don't use the person's measurement to do it I do it in such a way that by the time I'll finish sewing, I'll get three or two and a half inches at the side, each side. So I'm cutting the neck. Then I'll, I'm cutting the shoulder. I've snapped it by one and a half inch. Then the ham hole. So I finished cutting so you can see the front there's that's where the bottoms will come you can see the leaf is facing up so that's how you when you are cutting your pattern fabrics or cloth or African prints or Ankara you have to make sure you get the patterns right every good designer have to know how to sew a good pattern fabric that make the dress look neat and nice and elegant so i'm marking the that now as for me i've told you in my past video i think the corsets uh, the uh, bastia top yes the off shoulder i've told you as for my that i like it to go up so that my back will not fold when i'm wearing the dress or the top so as for the back of the shirt 
the dart will go up. I will leave only about one and a half or two inches from the shoulder to the dart, if that makes sense. So I'm marking the bottom side where the buttons will come. When you want to do, you mark three inches, then you fold, then you notch the top, the neckline, then you notch the down to so that you know the measurements if it's one or if it's one and a half where the buttons will come in the button holes now i'm marking the neckline i measured three inches the length is three inches because it's a shirt there will be a color on it so you don't have to go down plenty so it's three inches so i'll finish i'm notching the neck so i'll finish cutting the top now i'll cut the sleeve the sleeve is a shirt sleeve or short sleeve that one to you make sure your pattern is right you get it right if it's a it's a flower there you you don't have a problem but if the pattern in the fabric or the cloth you have to make sure you get the pattern right i'm cutting the you see the leaf is facing up so yes that's the top then the down will be here so all the time i'm rolling a line then i'll roll about two inches before i'll do the sleeve length the length is nine inches and the person's ham around ham is 16. so the length is nine inches 16 divided by two is nine is eight sorry then you add one and half allow sewing allowance at the sides so it will be nine and a half in all so that's what i'm doing yes i've marked it so i'll cut it so if you want to know how to draw a basic sleeve this is how you do it it's very easy this is free hand. i like doing things free hand than using patterns if you want to learn how to do patterns you can use your lining to do your patterns that one is better than the uh, paper that one you can fold it it won't take space and it, it will keep long too I me mean, most of the times i use uh, my lining to do my patterns than the paper so i'm now coming coming to cut the color pattern so this is the color the color is 18 inches 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches so i'm marking one and quarter that's the length of the tunic the small one is called tunic before the color will come so one and quarter or one and half then i've measured my nine so 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches then i measure two and a half then you come inward one inch then three and a half yeah or oh, three inches is okay then i'll mark it so i'm marking the color that's the pattern because it's stiff we we'll iron it to the cloth so that's the color so i will now cut you have to give it a shape at the top you run it a little if you want to know how to make a color and make it perfect all the time when you buy your first or second hand clothes or your already made clothes that is shirt or there's a color on it look at it well the way they've sewn it then you can use it to practice then you will see how to sew it and get it perfect so I'm cutting the pattern now now I'll transfer it onto the cloth or fabric then iron it then I'll make my color I have a color tutorial on this channel so if you want to learn how to make the color please go and watch it you can you see how to make the color there 
please subscribe to the channel and if this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up so i'm now coming to cut, cut the uh, color i'll transfer the fabric so you can see everything still i'm showing you the fabric you have to get it right so the leave out to face up so that's the top of the color then the down one will come to the down part before i iron it i make sure everything is perfect before i iron it and cut and join So I'm cutting the color. After that, I'll iron it and make the color and come and show it to us. See the finished look of the color. Then we go to the next. It's how to sew the main dress. So now I'll finish cutting. I'm ironing the sleeves. You remember when we were cutting the sleeves? I've measured I measured two inches before measuring the nine inches. That's what is inside the sleeve. So the lining will be longer than the sleeve. So we have to trim all the excess lining. See, so you can see we have to trim all the excess lining on the sleeve so that we'll get the same length that we make nine inches. But if you don't want the fabric, uh, some of the fabric to go inside, you can cut it uh, same. The lining and the fabric should be same. But as for me, I want some of the fabric to go inside so that when you are wearing it, 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 it look neat and nice. Sometimes when you wash the clothes, then the lining will be loose. Then it will be coming out from the shirt or the sleeve. I don't like it like that. That's why I made it like this now i'm making the color i've finished sewing the size so i've trimmed everything you have to make sure you trim the excess fabric then the fabric and the stiff will be equal same then you give it a top stitches then you go and sew so i've finished sewing the color now i sew it off camera because i have the sewing tutorial on how to make a color on the channel so you can go and watch it so this is the color so i'm trimming the excess fabric now after that, we'll put it aside. Then we we'll go to the main dress. So this is it. When you finish, you make sure everything is equal. You can see everything is equal. The length is equal. One is no longer than the other. Then you notch the center. That's the color, the center. So that the color one will not be longer than the other. No, all the time when you are doing something, make sure you mark the center. Then you get everything right. So I'm now coming to do the goddess. Uh, this is the uh, top, the back. You remember in our previous video, the corsets, I told you all the time, the back that have to be half. So I left about one or one and a half inches from the shoulder. So that's the that. I've saw it off camera. If I said I'll show everything, the video will be too long. So now I'm ironing the front. I have to put stiff. The reason why I'm putting the stiff, that's where I will do the bottom holes and fix the button. Without the stiff, it will be too soft. When you fix the buttons, as time goes on, the fabric will tear. If you don't want it like that, then add stiff all the time. When you are doing a... Uh, open front open something that is something that there will be buttons you have to put stick so that the thing will be fit firm so i'm ironing the other side 
I'm ironing the other side. So that's the front. After that, we we'll join the shoulders. Then we shape the the top. Then we attach it to the goddess. The bottom part is goddess. This one is the top part from shoulder to waist or half length. So now, because of the holes, I'm now going to sew the front and join the sides. So that's the sleeve. When you want to shape the sleeve, some people shape the sleeve straight from the top to down. No, if the person's around ham is 16, you divide it into two, it's eight inches. You do it eight, and the bottom part or the down, you did that half or one inch. So you do that part seven. So it will be slanted, it won't be straight, it will be slanted, if that makes sense. So that's how you do your sleeve. So now I'm coming to do the goddess at the bottom side. You sew the goddess. If you want to pull your goddess, you sew it three lines, not two. This is a new trick. When you sew one, two, three, then you pull it. The goddess will be neat and nice and it will be small, small, small. It won't be big, big, big goddess. No, it will be small, small, small. The goddess will be nice. So all the time sew it three and when you are coming to sew make sure you mark the raw rough side or the wrong side of the fabric with chalk when you want to sew you put the rough side facing you and the, the and the the right side will face will be on the machine so when you finish sewing and you want to pull the goddess you pull it at the correct side don't pull it at the wrong side if you pull it at where you use the chalk to mark it will stack and it will tear and you go all over and as for goddess when it's here you have to remove everything and do it again so always make sure when you are pulling it if you sew it at the wrong side you pull it at the right side and you, if you sew it at the right side you pull it at the wrong side then everything will be neat So I'm pulling the goddess. I finished pulling the goddess. Now I'll attach it to the dress. Then fix the color and the sleeves. Then I'll do my button holes and fix the buttons. I fix some of the buttons off line, off camera. So the last button, I brought it and film it so that you know how to fix the button that button is not a shirt button that it has it has four holes that one there is a loop or look loop under the button it's only one so when you fix it you make sure you use some of the rope and uh, the thread to tie it all around to go around around it will make the button be firm and stick at one place it won't be moving around and when you are fixing a button make sure if there is a logo or a design or something on the button make sure if the thing have to face up all the buttons that you are fixing if it's 20 buttons make sure all the designs will face up 
and if it's supposed to face down you make sure all face down then you get everything equal that's how designers work you don't do anything just like that you see the way i've joined the shoulder i sew everything inside i didn't do a overlock on the shoulder and as for me when i'm sewing i make sure i use matching thread for the overlock so that the dress will look neat so i use yellow thread for the overlock so now i'll finish everything now now i'm coming to mark the button holes you can see that as for ladies shirts when you sew a lady shirt don't do the holes straight if you do it straight because of our bust or breast the buttons will open so you do it in such a way that uh, like the way i'm marking it you do it like that so that the buttons will not be open and the interval of the button should be two inches not three or three and a half it will be too big it will open because of the bust so two inches is better or good for a lady's top or girl's top as for men they don't have anything on their chest so as for them their holes will be straight when they wear it it won't open by you when you wear a shirt that the holes is straight it will open all the time you see some ladies when they are working they've dread nicely office girls but you see the buttons is open or their brazier is showing under the shirt it's not right so all the time note it mark the interval should be two inches when you are making your button holes the interval is two inches i'm marking the buttons when i finish cutting the button holes with the seam ripper i use pen to mark where i will fix the buttons as for this shirt dress i didn't make the buttons the button holes up to the down no it's below the waist i think from the waist i measured seven or eight inches then the buttons will end there so i fix about nine buttons in all yeah so this is the last button the, the rest are face it off camera so this is the last button i want to fix it for you to see how to fix it so this button the design is anchor i hope you know anchor what they use to hook the ship when the ship come to the sea they use it to they drop it in the water to make the ships stay at one place it's called anchor that's the design on the button so you make sure the anchor will stand then you make sure if the button is 20 make sure you get every design right if it's facing up up if it's down down all should be down so that everything will be neat when you said you are a fashion designer when you make clothes you have to talk the clothes have to talk to itself that ah this clothes is given is given what is supposed to give i hope you understand so i finished fixing the button you tie the rope around the button so that the button will be firm i finish i'm tidying the knot at the back then our dress is ready but i want to embellish the dress so i use rhinestone the hot rhinestones so i face it i put it on the pattern in front of the dress then i use the same iron to iron it so that the rhinestone will remove so that's what i did so i think that's the end of the video now i'll put the dress on the mannequin for us to see the finished look of the dress that's the rhinestone so i'll put it in front of the dress this the leaf is one leaf is on the left and one is at the right so i put some of the rhinestone on it and iron it so that the dress will be elegant so that's what i'm doing now so i did the rest of camera so 
so i'm fixing the rhinestone then i will iron it with steam iron before you iron don't put the iron direct on the rhinestone please if you do it like that it won't blink it will stop blinking so you have to cover it with some cloth before you put the iron on it and iron don't iron it directly please you iron it so this is the finished look i think you can see the rhinestone in front of the shirt is blinking so that's all thank you for watching see you in the next one bye bye Bye.